Hey there guys, we're taking a look at Just Cause 3 running on the AMD Ryzen 5 5500U. Now the game is currently running at 1080p with the lowest in-game graphics settings with the 15 watt TDP. Now the level of performance that we're getting here is pretty brutal. Specifically, those 1% lows and those frame times are just spiking all over the place, making the experience really, really rough. A 30 FPS average would be more than playable if it wasn't for the fact that those 1% lows were that low. Now you could definitely get away with playing the game like this if you really, really really wanted to it's certainly not the most unplayable game i've ever played on here but it is just not going to be a super smooth experience and it will make things like aiming just feel a lot worse than it really should we can of course try to improve the performance by dropping the resolution to 720p 720p actually manages to improve the averages and the one percent lows though we're still seeing some pretty major micro stutters here with the fact that if you look at the frame time charts there are just these constant spikes now the consistency of that pretty much makes the experience at least playable you know if you're going to be having micro stutter like that you kind of want it to at least be consistent because you can adjust to it so this this is almost a 60 fps average but it really doesn't feel like that because of those frame times but it at least it feels like a playable experience so really this is a win here at the stock tdp but we can of course raise the tdp to see if we can improve the experience at 1080p and at 720p so with the balance preset in the apu tuning utility we do see a improvement in the averages here where we're getting close to a 60 fps average but those one percent lows being in the low 20s pretty much makes this a non-starter in terms of actually being a enjoyable experience 1080p is really just out of the question for this tdp unless you're really really desperate for that resolution but honestly if you're sensitive to resolution maybe drop to 900p try to just drop it down as low as you possibly can where you can tolerate it because really the level of performance that we're getting here is just not going to be an enjoyable experience you can certainly do it but it's just one of those things where the drops in the one percent lows are just so bad i really would just suggest dropping things down to 720p and we'll see right here what that does to the performance as you could see here the level of performance that we're getting here is pretty decent though it's one of those things where we're not really seeing any improvements in one percent lows here at least in comparison to where we were at at 720p with the 15 watt tdp for a trade-off of heat and noise we're pretty much just seeing a 2 fps uplift in those one percent lows not exactly a monumental leap in performance though it is at least somewhat of an improvement and we are very very close to just being at a straight up 60 fps average here so it is at least an improvement but it really isn't as big of a jump as i was hoping it would end up being especially at the resolution of 720p and trying out the performance preset at 1080p again we're not seeing any improvements in one percent lows or averages here we're pretty much just around the same range really what seems to happen when we drop down to 720p is we don't even really see an improvement in averages as much as we just see an improvement in one percent lows but even that has just proven to be not very consistent so even when we're pumping almost 30 watts of power in this thing we're pretty much just not seeing much of an uplift except in temperatures the biggest winners here is temperatures so going down to 720p you can see here that we're seeing the same situation where the averages are looking pretty nice now where we're almost at a 70 fps average but the one percent lows saw another 2 fps uplift and now we're almost at 90 degrees of temperature just to see a 2 fps uplift from where we were at before and a total of 4 fps from stock it's not exactly going to be the greatest thing ever so i guess one win here is that if you're stuck at the 15 watt tdp you're not missing out on much but also you're not exactly going to be having the greatest time playing this game overall anyways it's certainly doable and the games are at least unique unique and fun enough that I think plenty of you guys will be able to justify playing like this, but it's certainly not as good as I was hoping to see out of this. Overall, I would recommend just setting the game to the balanced preset and then just playing at 720p. That way you improve the 1% lows enough that you will at least consistently stay above 30 you won't fall be like beneath that even in intense situations while also not heating up your chips so much that you end up just 
cooking it alive because it's really unnecessary. Last but not least, we'll take a look at the battery saver preset that sets the TDP to 8 watts. And you can see here at 1080p, we are pretty much playing the game in slow motion. This is the most consistent we've seen those frame time charts going all the way to pretty much an 80 to 100 millisecond experience. Really just ultra, ultra smooth, consistent PowerPoint experience here, you know? Even at 720p, we're not exactly able to salvage much of this so it is going to be an overall rough experience like that it's not really a preset that i would suggest that you use but anyways i appreciate you watching and i will catch you in the next one